In this splendid tutorial, I will show you how to convert a horizontal or landscape video to a vertical portrait video. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. For the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to assume that you have some knowledge of editing using Blender. Uh, for those that don't, I have left a couple of links in the description below this YouTube video uh, with links to my beginner's tutorials. Okay, so the first thing, a um, couple of things you need to consider when you're in a video editor if you're going to convert um, a landscape video to a vertical video is the loss of um, definition. Um, so I will be bringing in a 4K UHD video which I recently filmed um, and if you're going to use uh, sort of, um, I don't know, YouTube um, shorts or something like TikTok, it, to be honest with you, it's probably not worth using 4K because most people view it on their phones. So I would keep with a standard resolution of um, what will be 18 10 8 no, sorry 1080 by 1920 so that's up to you you've got some options up here you can change your uh, resolution but all of them you will have to reverse so in this instance up in this top right hand side i'm going to change from 1920 to 1080 hit return and then the 1080 to 1920 Something went wrong there. Right, yeah, 1920, always worth checking. So that's fine. Now, in the screen, as you should know, you can roll your middle mouse button to zoom in and out, and you can also drag this down, give yourself a better view. Okay. So I'm just gonna, oh, another thing, I'm using 3.3. .3. There is an option in the later versions of Blender for this uh, magnet snap option. So it helps um, snap videos up to the timeline. So I'm gonna just select this and then open up my browser and bring in the video I want to use, which I think is this one. So I'll just drag this into this timeline. Now you should be able to just drag this up to snap to the beginning. Now just, just one thing I will mention, don't forget with Blender you only get 250 frames as a default so with this darker area here is 250 frames. So um, you'll need to match this up to the end. Now for some reason or another the Although this is saying uh, three nine six, it um, Blender is lying about that. I know it's more than three nine six. I also don't want the final end bit because there's a bit of um, quite a bit of camera shake at the end. So all I'm going to do is just where it says end in the frame range, end two fifty. I'm going to just drag this up so that it's I don't know just a bit short of the end. Obviously, you will know all these tricks if you've done any um, rendering in Blender. In fact, this one looks to be about right, 396, so it's 388, yeah, it's probably right. Okay, now I need to scale this video up, so you'll need to make sure you've only got the blue video track selected, and then come up to Add, and then you're looking for something called effect strip and then next to this you want to select transform and to the right of this timeline here you'll have some options so the first option place a tick in your in the box where it says uniform scale otherwise you'll have to change the x and the y and then literally drag the scale up till your video fits the screen or fits the viewer okay can be a bit fiddly 
especially if you're rushing okay that'll do now another problem with vertical videos is centering up the video um, so there's a few things you need to consider because this moves this, this um, heron never stays doesn't stay in the center so you've got options for a position on x which is left and right and y which is up and down and you have the ability to keyframe these so in essence i'm just going to change the position on x so i'm going to just move this over so that the heron is in the middle now this video will stay here now from frame one to the end but the heron doesn't stay in the middle so what I'll need to do is next to X and Y you'll see there's a small white dot and if you place your pointer over it it'll actually say animate property and what this is is a keyframer now my experience the automatic keyframe on video doesn't work so you'll need to make sure that you every time you make a change you select this little white dot so because I'm only going to be working with the X position I'm going to just select X if I was changing the Y I would need to be selecting the Y as well so I'm going to just drag this along a bit and see where our friend disappears to so he's going off to the left so I'm going to move this center this up a bit and again I'll select the keyframe animate properties button I'll drag this along again it's not looking to oh it's moving over so we'll need to recenter him and just keep going through your video keeping whatever you want in the middle not going to be too fussy here but as you can see he's moving a bit to the right so I'll select this again obviously I'm rushing this because it's a tutorial so we're coming along here I think sometimes it's worth placing a keyframe where you don't need it so just select without change the reason for this is is that if I had a keyframe here and I moved this heron at the end you might find you you'll have to start placing more keyframes and you can place them after the case so let's go along to here as we can see he's moved again and for this purpose for this tutorial I'm going to leave it at that let's just kill the volume a minute and we'll press play and see what it looks like and for the purposes of this, this tutorial I think that sort of gives you a rough idea of what you can do you can uh, play around place more um, keyframes at any point to um, compensate for movements and just play around with these keyframes that's about all there is to it I don't think we can show you anything else um, just remember to reverse your um, your resolutions always worth checking your your frame rate is okay and that's about it so you're ready to go and render your video hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers